In this video, we present the Vector Neurons, a general framework for SO3 equivariant networks. Rotation invariance and equivariance have been widely discussed in the 3D deep learning community. Consider a scenario where one scans an object using their litter-equipped phone to retrieve similar objects. Clearly, the global object pose should not affect the query result. Such a property is also desired in a variety of point cloud processing tasks, including classification, segmentation, and surface reconstruction. To eliminate the prior that all shapes in a dataset are aligned while avoiding an exhaustive data augmentation with all possible rotations, there is a need for network layers that are equivariant to SO3 transformations. While guaranteeing equivariance by construction, most previous methods either use complex mathematical tools that may limit their accessibility, or are tied to handcrafted input features and specific network architectures. In this work, we propose a simple, lightweight, yet versatile framework called the vector neurons. Extending classical scalar neurons to 3D vectors, VN deploys latent matrix representations of shape C by 3 which can be viewed as ordered sequences of 3 vectors. Per point features of an n-point cloud then becomes n by C by 3. Such a representation supports a direct mapping of rotations applied to the input point cloud to intermediate layers. An appealing property of VN representations is that they remain equivariant to linear layers by construction. A weight matrix W in RC prime by C can be left multiplied to AC by 3 vector list feature. This operation commutes with any rotation matrix R in SO3 multiplied from the right, yielding the desired equivariance property. The challenge in building a fully equivariant network lies in the nonlinear activations. By dynamically predicting a direction from the input vector list feature, we generalize the classical ReLU by truncating the portion of a vector that points into the negative half space of the learned direction. More formally, given an input vector list feature V, for each output vector neuron V prime, we predict a feature vector Q, a direction vector K, and define the nonlinear activation as We further provide pooling operations, normalization layers, as well as an invariant layer. While mean pooling is a linear operation that respects rotation equivariance, we define VN max pooling by taking argmax alone learned directions, which is similar to the VN nonlinearity. Normalizations often give rise to significant performance improvements. Layer and instance normalizations are done per sample and thus can be trivially generalized to VN networks. For batch normalization, we apply it to the invariant component of the vector list features, by normalizing the two norms of the vector list features. Finally, we define an invariant layer based on the idea that the product of an equivariant signal by the transpose of an equivariant signal is rotation invariant. It can be appended as needed to the output of the equivariant VN layers. We implemented vector neuron versions of two popular architectures, PointNet and DGCNN. VN networks fit well into these backbones with minimal modifications, which shows the versatility and efficiency of VN. We evaluate our method on three core tasks in point cloud processing, classification, segmentation, and neural implicit reconstruction. In classification and segmentation, we adopt three trained test settings, Z, 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 SO3 and SO3, SO3, where Z stands for data augmentation with rotations only around the Z-axis, and SO3 for arbitrary rotations. For reconstruction, we show results on the extreme setting with no rotation. In classification and segmentation, the VN networks attain consistently good results on all the three settings, which indicates their robustness over rotations. Even in the SO3, SO3 case with abundant train time data augmentation, the rotation-sensitive networks cannot perform as well as the equivariance by construction in VN networks. The VNDGCNN achieves state-of-the-art among methods with only point-coordinate inputs. In neural implicit reconstruction, the VN network also exhibits excellent coherence in reconstructing shapes in any poses. 
while in the ISO3 case, the vanilla OCnet totally fails by hardly learning anything meaningful. Even in the SO3, SO3 case, it still shows its limitation by generating blurry shapes, averaged shapes, or shapes with incorrect priors.